So I just got finished watching a little mermaid movie. And man, I got a couple things to say about it. There was a lot of stuff that I didn't expect to see when I watched it. And before I give my thoughts, I need everybody to hear me out first. I have to give this disclaimer. Come into this video with an open mind because I noticed some deep symbolic messages hidden within the Little Mermaid that some people may not have noticed. So let's get into it. He's a human. You're a mermaid. That doesn't make us enemies. We all know this film faced heavy backlash from racist people who are upset that a black girl took on the role of a red-headed cartoon character. And angry racists are trying their best to sabotage this movie by review bombing it, trolling, by boycotting it, hoping for low ticket sales. But what they forgot about is the power of the black dollar. Because black families are showing up to this theater and beating the odds. Because according to CinemaScore, the data shows that black audiences are dominating the box office with black families making up the 35% of all ticket sales, while Caucasian audiences make up a lower 26% of tickets sold. But I know one thing, me and my family came out to show love to our beautiful sister, Holly Bailey. And shout out to all the families and little girls who showed up to support our sister, because together, we beat the haters and Little Mermaid is now projected to rake in between 118 million and 121 million dollars over the Memorial Day weekend. And I must say, our sister Holly Bailey absolutely killed it. And whether y'all noticed it or not, she's actually more like the Little Mermaid in real life than people realize. Because y'all putting Holly Bailey through exactly what the character Ariel went through. See, Holly Bailey, like Ariel, is a young girl discovering herself. And just like Ariel, she's not accepted by the surface world, or in Holly's case, not accepted by the spotlight of European beauty standards and mainstream Hollywood audiences. And Holly, just like Ariel, is trying to bring two worlds together who have a history of hating each other, while literally being scrutinized and mistreated by both sides. See, I didn't notice that, did you? But let me tell you something. See, Holly was born for this role. She was made to be the Little Mermaid. Who else but Holly can live out what it's like to be rejected by the outside world while trying to become the queen that she was born to be? See, all these racist people who's complaining about diversity didn't know that at its core, the Little Mermaid has always been about diversity. When you think about it, it's a woman who is a half fish creature who is different than society's standards but determined to be rightfully a part of your world. See, that struggle was always a black struggle. And where both the character Ariel and the actress Holly Bailey both had to deal with discrimination, just like Ariel, Holly Bailey also faced personal attacks from her own culture against the man that she chose as her prince in real life, her boyfriend DDG, who her own people are desperately trying to tear down her relationship to the man that she chose to love. Let's talk about how Holly Bailey got some real life black female aunties that's just like Ursula the octopus trying to sabotage and separate her from her real life love to a black prince named DDG. See, a lot of women hate that boy and don't even know his story. And just like Ariel's father and her auntie, Holly Bailey's been trying to show y'all that regardless of what y'all think, she's seen something in her boyfriend DDG that y'all would never understand. And to be frank, it ain't none of y'all business to understand. See, on social media, we done watch black women hoping that she would end up who they wanted to see her with. Like hoping that she actually dates the white actor Prince Eric. While at the same time, black aunties are calling that young black man DDG everything but a child of God. And just like y'all love and watched Holly Bailey grow up, I watched DDG grow up. And anybody that knows DDG knows that he's a genius level black man who graduated valedictorian, who got his family out of poverty in Pontiac, Michigan after his brother was murdered. And that black man decided to pick up a camera instead of picking up a gun and used his God-given gifts to get his whole family out the hood into generational wealth and is the real life Fresh Prince of Calabasas, whether you like it or not, whether he's perfect or not. And just like Ariel's character, her own people have been trying to separate Holly from who her heart has fallen in love with. Not even considering what she sees in her black prince that makes her love him so much. 
And this is exactly why Holly Bailey was the best choice for Ariel. Because she is Ariel. See, we watched that girl be magical, brave, and determined in real life. And all the haters that are hating on Holly Bailey right now are proving why the story of Little Mermaid is so powerful. Because at the heart of this movie and the original cartoon was a bunch of grumpy, stubborn adults trying to project their own stereotypes and fears onto Ariel and Holly, trying to control who she loves, trying to prevent her star from rising above to new uncharted waters of her life. And just like her father, King Triton did at the end, you all got to learn to let that hate go. Let that fear go. Let go of trying to control the destiny of what you love and understand that just like Ariel's father, every parent must go through allowing our kids to make mistakes learn from their experiences, make their own choices, let go of the past and allow our little princesses to show us a new, wonderful and never before seen brighter future. But if she ever sees this video, I want to say this. Holly Bailey, I love you, sis. And I'm proud of you. And thank you for using your gift to inspire a new generation of young girls who now believe that they can make it just like you, a little mermaid. And oh, yeah, for those who's wondering, I rate this film a 9.5 out of 10. It's as perfect as a live action remake will ever be. Straight up.